I've been sitting here for a little while, just kind of sitting by the fire, closed my eyes for a little bit, and just kind of, just kind of relaxed, you know, just enjoying the um, the wind, the sound of the wind, and and the fire, you know, blowing in the wind, the way it sounds. Just just enjoying the silence. It's really quiet, other than the wind, but. Uh, so I looked up this Del Delamar, and the nickname of it is called the Widowmaker. And it was basically the heydays were at 1895 to 1900. It produced 13.5 million dollars in gold, is what it says. It says it's 150 miles from Las Vegas, so it's about two and a half hour drive to get here from Vegas, of course. It was prospected in 1889 by John Ferguson and Joseph Sharp. Discovered gold around the Monkey Ridge Wash, wherever that's at. I don't know where that's at. Del Mar Lowe began publication in post office was open. So there was a post office here from 1895 to 1900. Had 3,000 residents. It's pretty good. 3,000 people roamed around here. It's crazy. He even had a hospital and an opera house. A school, several schools. Um, businesses. A saloon. Uh, obviously, they made everything with the native rock. That's what we've seen uh, from earlier. It said it produced 8.5 million in gold. I, I think I read something higher than that earlier, which doesn't make any sense. It stopped and discontinued in operation in 1909. In 1929 to 1934. 34 it reopened uh, of the post office of March of 1933 and school the post office closed in February of 1941 there are two graveyards two graveyards I thought there was only one so there's two graveyards which have been vandalized of course they've been vandalized why wouldn't they be vandalized right I mean, why can't people leave things alone? Why do they got to come up here and vandalize everything? Like, right where I'm camping, bullet shells everywhere. Just tons of bullet shells all over the place. They come up here and they bring their trash and then they start shooting it. Ah. <sighs> I don't know why, but they do. So, I mentioned silicosis earlier. The gold in the Del Mar mines was in, embedded in quartz, which created a fine dust when crushed. Miners breathing in this dust often, often developed silicosis, and the town became known as the Widowmaker. So, silicosis, if you don't know, the fine dust particles uh, gets gets in your lungs and they crystallize up against your lungs and over time uh, it just starts to squeeze and deteriorate your lungs and it becomes like black and horrible looking and and then you just can't breathe anymore and you just can't yeah you just can't breathe anymore and then you stop breathing so silicosis I want to see if like, if like, uh, <laughs> if it's on it, because I don't think it is. But you get certain YouTubers out here, they'll say it's haunted, and they're being chased down or some some stupid. Um, I'm trying to open up another. I got very minimal 
service up here. So tonight is going to be down in the low 20s. And it's cold right now. I'm saying it's probably in the low 30s right now. And it says as low as 22 degrees tonight. So that's pretty cold. Uh, because you, you get... I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm not trying to bash other people, but there are other YouTuber, YouTubers that would come up to locations and they would just make shit up. And it's very upsetting that they do these types of things because it just ruins everything because it's not true. None of it's true. I mean... I've never encountered anything like that before uh, you know you're trapped or whatever I don't know um, <laughs> this would help if I had my glasses on it's really hard to see this I want to walk around want to go walk around let's go walk around shut the fire off let's go walk around let's see let's see what we can discover out here let's see what's out here okay and we'll bring we'll bring my big light and we'll see if we can allow the the moon to light our way can you see this So we're in parked here. I don't know what this was. We we went up there. We drove up there. We parked there, and then we walked over to that building right there. That's probably the best looking one of them all. Is that one? Tailings. Near this wall. God, just imagine these guys worked. 1880, 1895, whatever it was. Look at this work they did. It was a lot of work. Let's go in this building over here. Let's see what's in here. Let me shut this light. Let me take it right off. See how people just bring all their shit up here and they just leave it? They don't clean up after themselves. Well, obviously, People come up here and have fires and camp, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Burn your wood. I don't know what this was. Man, there's no wind in here, that's for sure. campsite over there all right why am i doing this at night well let's let's see you know a lot of people died here a lot you know these people came here and they worked their ass off Miners were a hard worker. It's like a farmer, right? Farmers are hard-ass workers, man. That's a hard, hard-ass job. If you've never gone farm or did any farming before, you want to know what a hard job is? Be a farmer. It's just like a miner. Be a miner. I guarantee you it's a, hard, a lot of hard labor. All right, let's walk over here. I got to use this light because I got to see...
something up over there. It doesn't show. Yeah, it's up there. So we're at the highest point, kind of. We came up this road right here. And I don't know what that is yet. So I'll have to look that up and kind of get a better history of that by tomorrow. So we know what we're looking at right there some of you folks out there who have a problem with that explore the unknown okay and brave the untamed we're brave in this we have no idea what we're going to encounter in the night none I'll fly my drone tomorrow to kind of give you an idea of where we're at so so right here, you're going to see, tomorrow, you'll see drone shot of where we're at. And, uh, yeah, here's the drone shot right here. Check this out. We're back. So we're sleeping in the ghost town tonight. How many people can say they can actually do that? Hey, if I haven't said it already, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. If you got anything to say, you got any comments, make a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. See what you, what you think about something like this. Tomorrow will be a new day. It's going to be a multiple parts to to my weekend so obviously today we're in Delamar uh, Nevada we're in a ghost town at night and then tomorrow we'll explore during the day we'll check out what's what's around here you'll earlier you'll see the drone shot and then you should see another drone shot for the next video so I could have great sleep if it's quiet and I can have horrible sleep and usually my first night going out I'm kind of on and off through the night so I think my second night wherever I go will be a little bit better maybe maybe not um, I'm starting to talk with like a it, it's it's chilly man it is really really cold <laughs> and uh, I do have a as crazy as this sound a heated jacket so you can see i got it on uh i don't know if you can see the red light but i got it on high so my upper torso is nice and toasty but uh my legs are cold because i didn't put my thermals on i didn't put my base layer on before i left and i should have um yeah Easy. Just listen to how quiet it is. Let me go over here. I'm gonna stop and stand right here. Listen how quiet. You can hear the wind coming up and over the mountain through the trees. Here it comes. Boom. I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind just, it just stops and it's very, uh, it's so quiet that it's kind of an eerie feeling. We're in a canyon right now. We're literally in between two mountains and the wind is coming from that direction. I don't know if you can see my hand, but the wind is coming from that direction and you can hear it blowing through uh, the trees. 
it's got a very distinctive sound and you can hear it coming through the trees. It's crazy. It's crazy quiet. Damn, look at that. I can't, I can't tell you how bright it is. Not from my lights, goddammit, but just from the moon alone. It, I bet you anything that's a star. Yeah, it's a star. That's a star over there. I don't know if this light interferes with the background. So let's let's shut this light off. Okay. It's a star. Man. It's just so quiet. We've talked long enough. This is a long ass video and I don't want them to be that long because obviously nobody watches this shit. <laughs> we'll see you later. See you in the morning. Good night. Oh, I'm back real quick. If anything unusual happens during the night, I'll turn you on so you can uh, be part of whatever I, uh, I experience. This is where we brave the unknown is tonight because I have no idea what to expect in a ghost town. See you later. Sleep well. <laughs>